Okay guys, the video we're gonna do today is called Altered Journaling. I make them out of these old books I get from the library that they don't want anymore. Usually when libraries are throwing away books, it means that nobody's checked them out for a long time and they've got too many new ones to fit on the shelves. So what my library does is every day, shortly after they open up, they put a cart out front and it says books for sale. No books free. They have a, a also a a book store inside the library but and sometimes if I find a really good title I'll spend a quarter or something on a book. This one I think was for free. So anyway you find an old book that people are done reading because you're going to pretty much make it into an art journal and nobody will be able to read it anymore. So what I try and focus on when I'm looking for one is the title and since I'm a social worker, the skilled help, helper really sounded out to me um, because I'm a helper. And then what I've made the cover on, as you can tell, this is a picture that's not really me. But what I like doing is going online and finding old pictures of children that look like they could have been me, but they're not really. Um, that way I don't have to destroy a picture of my own. But you could also give multiple cop copies of your own self, of course. Uh, that's just one idea. I used to work with foster kids, and a lot of them didn't have pictures of when they were little. So we searched out pictures that um, looked like it could have been them. So that's where I got that. And then this was, I think it was black and white picture. But I, I took some colored pencils and I colored in like the sleeping bag green and the lantern red and and whatnot. And this is just washi tape. So what you're gonna need for this project is mostly whatever kind of stuff, art supplies you already have. That's why I like it because you can do and use almost anything. Here's another picture that I liked that I got off the internet. Um, any kind of envelopes, any size of envelopes. I have a bunch of these small size here. Um, but any kind of even junk mail. Some people make what's called a junk journal and um, make it out of junk mail. Little, um, little cards that can fit inside of your envelopes. That way you can put little messages. Uh, paint swatches, this one's getting it was just for white, but I like all my walls painted white so, or off-white, so um, save paint swatches, literally anything. Magazines are good for collage, um, paints of course, strings, paint brushes, sandpaper is good for kind of roughing up the edges and making it look older, like I have a piece of uh, this is an old piece of sandpaper, and I didn't even think of doing this till this very minute that I'm like, oh, let's see, let's see what happens. You can kind of, as I sand the edge, the thing that's great about these books is you can't mess up. If you do mess up, you rip out the page because it actually helps it a little bit too. So I'll show you a couple of techniques to get started, and then I'll probably make some more more of these pages. Here's one where I just painted the whole page turquoise and then the page adjacent to it I only painted half the page and then I put tags are really another good thing to have. You can make your own or you can buy packs of them at Michaels or Walmart. And again another picture that I got off the internet that's not really me but just put a little string through there. Stuff that's pretty easy to find. I like looking around the house and finding things maybe that I would use for sewing or some other purpose and see if I can use it in my book here. I've even found things at Home Depot. Okay, so looks like I probably already did this a little bit, but after the paint dries, you can kind of sand and give it kind of an antique look. Here's another thing that I like to do to get started. Let's go to the next page. I like to make this shape right here. It's um, an arch is what I would call it. And it kind of gives you the stage to then start making something. So let's try that again. Let me grab a pencil. It could be any color pencil, but I like the, the way that a real 
school pencil works. I usually just start up here, make a kind of a shape like that. And um, use of your favorite quotes is excellent too, if you have any favorite quotes. I've been, one of my favorites right now is called Between Two Pines. Between every two pines, another world opens up. That's by Henry David Thoreau. And I really just like it because I like pine trees a lot. And I like being out in nature a lot. So that's actually what I just renamed my, my YouTube channel, Between Two Pines. And then sometimes I make a little window like that. I don't know why. And if I don't like what's there, I can maybe cut out this little girl. And if I want it to fit exactly right there, what I would do is kind of not fold it in half, but not not crease it actually, because I'm gonna wanna undo this, but any kind of scissors, but make a kind of a, an art shape on the picture. Open it back up and see, since I didn't crease it, it's just, it's just that shape. And so I didn't make the window big enough, obviously, but then I can center it there in the middle. And just remake the window for whatever size this is. Sometimes what I find really interesting is when I've done something like this and I look right below it and it says friends in both camps or something that could be like a title for it. If that's not good, lower it a little bit. Thoroughly impressed by a body of intellectual opinion. Just keep doing that until you find a good little phrase that looks like it's titling the picture. And I, I've had amazing instances where... See, I, I wanted to make a um, make it a little bit bigger, the frame, like so. But I, I'm finding that I don't like it. It's too close to the top like that. But what if I were to bring it down here? Still going... Well, that's maybe too high. Still going just a little bit away from that one. So I just play around with it. And if I play too much and then I ended up making a mistake of some sort, or I just don't like it because it's, it's gotten to be too, too worked over, then I'll just cut out the whole page and throw it away and start over. So these are just some ideas that you can use to get going. This is one of my favorite actually, is making this arch shape because it's just exactly like you made a stage. And sometimes for artists, it's hard to get started. Just plain hard to get started. So making yourself a stage is just like a welcoming sign saying, here's your stage, go ahead and fill it up. So I'll keep working and playing and, and just look around my desk. There's a new word I'm gonna introduce you to and it's called ephemera. E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A, ephemera. And what it means is old paper. So I have several bins actually, but here's one of my bins full of just old paper. And I'll introduce you to some of it so you guys can get some ideas of stuff to save. Old scrapbook papers that I used for something Halloween-y. But if I love the paper, I, I save every little bit of it until it's gone. Sometimes I print out quotes on um, papers that I like. Putting scrapbook paper through the printer, for example. Some of these that somebody used to use to strengthen holes for notebook paper. You could put these, for example, all over this page, paint it, and then peel them off gently, or just leave them. If you like holes and dots and things like that, awesome. Here's just a tiny piece of scrapbook paper that I have left over from something I made with my sister, but I like the paper. Any kind of letters that you also can get from a scrapbook store. Or they don't actually have very many scrapbook stores in California anymore. Um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, Stickers, always stickers are good for stuff. I was walking around at one of my old jobs, they were doing construction and this was in the trash pile getting ready to be thrown away. If, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's a, it's just like a piece of wire. 
I actually used a bit of it when I made my grandson a valentine to make it look more masculine. Um, cards that my friends give me that I can't bear to throw away. Christmas cards. Here's um, a map of San Diego that I took out of a, an old book or something. I can't remember what it was, but just stuck it in here in my ephemera collection. Old stamps or new stamps. Tags off your clothes. I've saved those before. Um, this is actually, I put on the back, not a relative. Because a friend of mine gave me this picture because she knows I like old pictures of children. And I didn't want someone to think that was a grandparent of ours. So I put not a relative on the back. But that's in my ephemera box. Another stamp. Some um, die cut images and things that I might have used, wanted to use for another project, but then it, it didn't go into the project. These kind of like file cards are cool. Again, a, a piece of a scrapbook thing. Now that one is my grandma. She's my great grandmother. On my mom's side, she's the mother of my grandfather. Her name's Irene. So I forget what that was probably left over from a project I made about that family, about old games they used to play during the depression when they had to make up their own fun. Um, that I think is from a calendar or a book. But I was making a recipe book for my daughter and so I thought, oh, that has some cute little images. These are just some of the things that are in my, um, and just a bunch of scraps of this and that. Anyway, decided to try and use this one, but let me go on and start another page to kind of show you some more ideas. So quotes, favorite quotes, your favorite number, like my favorite number is 24. So I might just go to page 24, for example, let's find it. 24, and then make that something special out of the, you know, like the number, here's the number right here. Part one, introduction. So just going like that, making the, the usual shape. I've tried other shapes, but this one's kind of my favorite. And then I also look, look the page over real quick and see if there's anything that Participant model emphasizes the importance of client responsibility. Well, how about if you just said emphasizes the importance and then just circle that. And I'll, I will circle it, even though I don't even have any idea what I'm going to end up doing with this page. Um, therefore, even though hire the consultant, consulting then is a social influence process. See, I just read it over. Sometimes you got nothing, sometimes you got a very something very interesting the paradox of facing psychologists in their relationships with others arises from the presumption that one can teach study elicit or develop expertise anyway find some favorite phrases and sometimes if i find a favorite phrase i'll even just take out the whole page like so let's see it's not coming out real easy so sometimes i'll score it with the scissors like so very lightly because if you go too hard it could um also score the page underneath it and i don't know how many you want to take out it doesn't hurt anything to take out pages from a book um, actually it's preferable because as you start adding ephemera and other pictures and things into here it gets thicker and thicker and thicker so take it out and then let's say that i found something um like let's just say problem solver right here and I could just cut that out with the scissors and then just use that on another page, right? Um, with the basic steps or working with systems. Um, I cannot talk in the same way, etc. If you don't find anything, just keep looking. You'll find some really cool ones. And just the look of these old pages is really cool when you go to make like Valentine's or a lot of projects, actually. You could turn this into a heart not not creasing it but folding it in half and you guys remember how made you made um 
Valentine's in grade school by going like so and cutting it into the shape of a heart like so and since I didn't crease it there we go now I've got this I can also save this if I'm if I'm interested and that can be a, a piece of ephemera right to use in another page or book or something here's just a heart but it's got this word here that I liked so Maybe putting this on a painted page, like for example, let's turn back to this turquoise one. There we go. And I'm just kind of making this stuff up, stuff up as I go, but get a get yourself a cardboard shoe box or a plastic shoe box. Start putting ephemera in there. You'll need a little bit of glue, paint, um, whatever you can find. Decorative scissors, you can cut the edges of these, cut the edges of the page. Um, you can also fold a page, like so. And then when you fold it, it makes a natural like pocket right here, which you can staple here and staple here, and then you've got yourself a real pocket, which you can put um, your envelopes, your something like this in there. And if you wanted, if your name was Molly, you could uh, get the M card and, and then write, write some characteristics about yourself. Paint over this ugly portion, of course, one of your favorite colors. And then just write a letter to yourself, a, le a letter to your five-year-old self, a letter to your 40-year-old self, and then put it in there, like so. That's just like one idea, but I'll have more of these videos also to, to introduce you to more ideas. Here's a different one, a different pocket that I like making is just folding it like so. And then the pocket is here. You can either take a glue stick and put glue under this edge and under the bottom edge so that your pocket stays folded down. And then you can start decorating on here. You can put some, put some page protectors. Um, also, I have like the letter C, because my name starts with C. But this is a tag that I got from uh, Michael's. I, I believe, no, I think it was Hobby Lobby. But you can put a, a hole in here with your hole punch, then put a string or a ribbon on it, and then it can be like either a bookmark or, I don't know, something nice. I could paste it right here. The fun thing about this is you can't go wrong. And like I said, if you do go really wrong, just rip the page out. See, I didn't really like how that looked. But when I put it over here like so, look how, that, how nice that looks with the, the writing behind it. So maybe I wanna make my pocket be over here instead. And tabs, tabs is another thing. We'll talk about that in my next video, the use of tabs. Bye for now, guys.